Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got a bit of fabrication work going on for a change. Um, I do some welding, a little bit of lathe work, and some plasma cutting. That's some view meal come in, I'll show that a little bit later on. The Stuart Turner steam engine is coming to bits quite nicely. Uh, there'll be another video instalment going up tomorrow night. This is a union of a, an oil filter adapter and what I need to do is make it 30 mil shorter. Normally I would machine that down and put some threads on further down but it's a proper arsehole thread and it will mean changing all the gears on the back of the lathe. So I'm just going to cut it in half, take a bit out and weld it back together. So we'll put it in the lathe, chop it there, we'll chop that end off and do some measuring 30 mil, lay it out and weld it. So I've got plenty of clearance between choked jaws and things. It's just soft nail steel. Before I pop it right off. I'm just going to put a V on so I can weld it. And then making sure that we have got plenty of clearance, which we have. chamfer on it once again and make it easy to weld. I'm going to make a job of that union and use my little weld positioner but the first thing I'm going to do is put this adapter on that one of my viewers sent in uh, to take a Dewalt battery I had just been plugging the, the wires into the ends of there as he said, plug and hook but now I've got a nice little adapter that uh, it'll do the job quite nicely Right, so we'll go right on here, plus a negative, positive, negative, and on the battery it's also got the, yeah, battery positive, battery negative, well, that's much safer, much simpler, press me a little button and away it goes.
I've clamped the unit together with the nut and bolt so it won't move. This chuck certainly seem better ideas, but it's ideal for this particular application. What we'll do, we'll get a couple of tacks on it and then one at the top, one at the bottom and then we'll round it. Put a centre on the back to see a little support and just machine that nice and true and that's the job done. For John. The Stuart Turner steam engine I'm busy stripping down it's got some really badly rusted components I've bought some of Apple rust and I've been using that and a lot of people say I should try electrolysis so I'm going to set up a quick tank I've got two bits of male steel I just I just cut out it didn't work off the plasma I've got them connected together in the end here I'm going to put some washing soda soda crystals some water then I'm going to hang the part in I want to clean 
you go positive charge onto the sacrificial, negative onto the part you want to clean. I bought an old battery charger uh, which will give a constant current that won't cut out like a modern one. This is the part I'm going to clean, it's quite badly rusted. It's the end cover off the engine, the governor cover. So I've got that hanging in there on some copper wire. So I'm going to put the washing soda in, the soda crystals in, put some water in and then hook the battery on it and see what happens. Nobody's actually mentioned how much washing soda I meant to put in. It's sort of a, a guessy game really. That probably hurts three gallons of water. Right, so I'll go something like that. Then we'll put the water in. Right, this is the, the battery charger I bought. Proper old school. So we've got a positive lead. Go to the sacrificial pieces, which is them. And the negative lead goes onto the part you want to clean. And the magic happens in the solution, and the part comes out de rusted. We'll power this up. Right, straight away. It's pulling four amps. There's something that must be happening. I bring the camera in so you can see there's that fizzing and fizzing and boiling going on here. Things are starting to happen in the water. I can leave this for 24 hours and I'll have a look tomorrow night before I do my me, me cap and put a little bit on to show what's happening, but they're certainly, they're certainly getting action. There's one or two sort of smaller pieces I can actually hang off that way and clean as well. It's not quite fully submerged, so we'll be able to see the difference between the, the bit that's clean and the bit that's not. Obviously doing this outside of me well and shit, I wouldn't dream about doing it in the house. I don't think Debs would be very happy. I've been cracked all the way around, but it wasn't too hard, so I got it. You can see I've made it out, and I've been around it with two of the bones, or blades, you know, whatever. 